Kia ora, my name is Ben Nair. I'm the chairperson of the Takamori Trust. Uh, the Takamori Trust are uh, made up of trustees who represent uh, different sub-tribal entities of the iwi uh, Te Ate Awaki Whakarungotai. What I would like to talk about in relation to the Takamori Wahitapu is that uh, it is an area which is not just barren land, which can be, which it can be, uh, unfortunately mistaken um, for uh, from within the community, but has great uh, intrinsic cultural and spiritual significance. Not just for us as a subtribal um, entity, but also for the community as a whole. The area itself has a number of deceased beyond the fenced. Uh, line of the current uh, Takamori Cemetery that is uh, seen within the community. Uh, whether we go to the north, to the south or to the west of this area, uh, there are deceased scattered within the, uh, the landscape. Uh, within the, uh, the Takamori Cemetery itself, there are the deceased within the community itself and just to the west um, of the Takamori uh, Wahitapu. Takamori as a Waihitapu uh, historically stretched from the hillside uh, which touches onto the Tukurako settlement all the way to the beach. So uh, there are um, deceased that are buried within uh, the sand dunes and within the land right from here all the way to the riverside stretching all the way to the beach. What is important for us as the Takamori Trust is the kaitiakitanga, uh, the guardianship of what remnants of the land are still alive in their natural setting. Where we have the issue uh, with the council and with the NZTA in, in relationship to um, their proposal is where the road goes through the Wahitapu. Uh, the council and the NZTA um, see this uh, area as barren land and should be used for the purposes of uh, the uh, the, designation, the designated road, although council themselves have stipulated that they understand that the area itself is a wahitapu and understand that there are deceased within the area. Um, they are more than uh, happy uh, in accordance with their uh, protocols to follow through uh, with a road going through this part of the area. That's where the issue um, strikes us as, as a trust. We wish to continue the guardianship role that we have within uh, the Takamori Wahitapu and assert that there are the deceased that reside within the area. We also want to make it clear um, that it is not all just about um, the dead and those who are buried within the contours of the land, but there are sites of spiritual significance uh, which speak to um, the livelihood and uh, the life principles of this area. For example, there are uh, two healing springs which were used for birthing rites uh, within the area. There was a whare kōhanga, a nesting house, uh, which was also used for the protocols and the customs uh, related to uh, giving birth. So these were very um, significant and spiritual sites of one of our uh, neighbours and strongest supporters, uh, the Muopoko people. Within the cemetery itself and just um, to the outskirts of uh, the fence line were are two um, mass burial graves uh, which were offered to the community for the burial of their deceased to the Pakia community uh, in, in the 1915-1919 period where the Kati Coast and the Waikanae Township in particular was affected by uh, the flu epidemic that struck down a number of, uh, of our people. Within the cemetery itself is um, within the gully is the mass burial grave of the children and the babies that suffered as a result of that flu epidemic and just to the west is the mass burial grave of the adults and elders that suffered uh, as a result. There are a number of uh, important uh, battles and one uh, war in particular that occurred within this area where it was an intertribal uh, battle of massive proportions. Uh, the biggest intertribal battle and the last one that occurred uh, within the lower North Island. Uh, it brought in a number of tribal entities from around the uh, from around New Zealand who participated in this battle and there was bloodshed to a, a ferocious scale and uh, the El Rancho um, Christian Holiday Park um, have a number of those deceased that still reside within um, that area and with the relationship that we have with El Rancho and the uh, strength of character that they have shown we uh, support their role as the kaitiaki, the guardians of those deceased, our deceased that reside 
uh, within the uh, Christian holiday park. So as a whole, uh, the Takamori Wahi Tapu um, has great historical, cultural, intrinsic significance to the community. And we want the community to be aware that uh, we are not in support of the road going through our uh, Wahi Tapu. Uh, we want it to, uh, the, the land itself to be left in its natural state. And for the community to know that there is so much history and so much of uh, such a strong relationship, an intrinsic relationship that the community has with the Takamori Wahitapu.